Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for September 26th of 2024 is titled The Great Globular Cluster in Hercules. So what do we see here? Well, as you might expect from the title, it is a globular cluster, a large grouping of stars bound together by their own gravity. So this is the type of star cluster that will remain together forever. It will always be bound together because there is a sufficient amount of mass to hold the stars and to keep them from escaping. This is actually visible to the naked eye. So when you have a nice clear sky, if you know the direction of the constellation of Hercules, you can see a little fuzzy patch in the sky there. Now, it is, again, one of the brighter uh, globular clusters that exists in the sky and contains hundreds of thousands of stars. Now, globular clusters are among the oldest parts of our galaxy. They were some of the very earliest things to form. We can determine the age of a globular cluster by studying the stars within it. And if we measure those stars and analyze them, we can find out what the oldest stars are th are in this. What stars are still living? That would be the oldest stars. And by knowing stellar ages from other ways, when we find certain types of stars, we can then determine what types of what sorry what the age of these stars would be. So we can get that the overall globular cluster and many of these range in the area of 10, 12 billion years old. So dating back to the early history of our galaxy and some of the oldest objects in the universe altogether. Now they're also very densely packed in the area around the sun. There are not a lot of stars. In fact, there are four light years between our sun and the nearest star. But if you took an area around that in this star cluster, especially near the core, you could take a cube with about three light years on each side. So something that would fit between us and the nearest star and you would have a hundred stars within that. So that's how densely packed the stars are within a globular cluster. And you might imagine what the night sky might look like if you lived in one of these clusters to have that many stars packed so close together there would be a lot more brighter stars within the within your field of view if you lived in a globular cluster so if you lived at a on a planet around a star near the center of this the sky would look very different than the sky looks here to us on earth so again, this is the great globular cluster in Hercules, well known globular cluster, easily visible in the northern sky. So that was our picture of the day for September 26th of 2024. It was titled the great globular cluster in Hercules. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.